say the goodness of God is in this house. Amen. Why don't we continue to lift up our hands right now to Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you for your steadfast love. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy, O oh God. Thank you for provision. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your glory. We thank you, God. You've given us authority. We worship you this morning. This right, church, wherever you are standing. Let's come before God with a heart of gratitude. Just remember all the goodness of God in our lives, the blessings of God. Yo me... 
yesterday when we came together to worship God, the Lord just reminded me of Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6. Philemon, it says, that the communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. The communication of your faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. You know what? We, we may have mountains ahead of us. Maybe some of you are in need for healing. Some of you are in need for deliverance. Some of you are in need for provision in your life. And, and there are situations that you have to overcome. The Bible says that your faith becomes powerful. Our faith becomes effective. When we begin to acknowledge all the good things that Jesus Christ has done for us. What has He done for us this morning? Well, He has saved our souls. What has Jesus done for us this morning? He has given us wonderful friends, families. We have amazing husband and wife and children and family. Why don't this morning begin to give thanks to the Lord? You know what? I tell you, there's a spirit of faith that's going to come into this room. Today, the power of God is going to move in a great way. But our faith will become effective. As we begin to think of the goodness of God, lift up your hands and speak in tongues right now. Shuduria la caraba, deria la caraba, deria la caraba, deria. Shuduria la caraba, deria la caraba, deria la caraba, deria. Shuduria la caraba, deria la caraba, deria la caraba, deria la caraba. Don't be tired this morning. Just focus on Jesus. Let's magnify the Lord our God. Our soul magnify Him. Shuduria la caraba, deria. Our spirit rejoices in His goodness. Let's sing this song from the beginning, all together now. Your kindness leads me to repentance. Your goodness draws me to your side. Your mercy.
to sing to him a new song. So open up your hearts to him. Lift up holy hands to the Lord. Sing a new song to him. Make a melody in your heart. Let's come before him in song of praise and hymns and spiritual songs. Hallelujah. Let's just talk in tongues just for a moment, shall we? God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Father, we just come before you. Lord, we want to magnify the Lord our God. Jesus, 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 we love you. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sunday morning service this morning, I just sense that the Lord says, Seek the Lord while he may be found, and you can call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. But let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain comes down and the snow from heaven do not return there, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I send it. Because today you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you. And all trees of the field shall clap their hands. Hallelujah! 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 Father, this morning that you will give City Harvest, you will give every single one a seed, a word from heaven, a rhema word, that we can pray, that we can prophesy, that we can confess, and it shall go up. Father Lord, and He shall accomplish that word. It will not come back to us void. Father, You have given us the word of faith. Father, let it accomplish Your will. The mountains and the hill shall be removed in Jesus' name. The trees of the field shall clap their hands. Father Lord, the word shall go out. And Father Lord, let be peace in Jesus' name. The word shall go out and accomplish. The money will come. The healing will come. The deliverance will come. I'm praying the spirit just a little bit more shall we I tell you the presence of God is here there's a spirit of prophecy in this room this morning oh should the word of God the word of God the precious word of God will not return unto him void. God is sending forth his word to establish his purposes hallelujah should he says I send my word to heal your disease I send my word to bring out deliverance. I send my word to give you visions and dreams. 
Even as we were worshiping the Lord, I just kept hearing the voice of God saying, I'm the true vine, and you are the branches. Abide in me. Unite your hearts with mine to fear my name. And see, I, the Lord, will not perform the miracle that you have so desired in your heart. If today you will sing and you will proclaim that I, the Lord, am good, then today know that Jesus, I have not left you an orphan. I have sent my Holy Spirit to be your partner. Abide in me, the Word of God will say. Abide, abide in me. Jesus will say to us this morning, make it your goal in your lives in the beginning of this year. Put aside every distraction. Put aside every weight. Put aside every security. Put aside every confidence. Only have this one confidence that's in me. And see whether I, the Lord, will perform the miracle for you. If you will focus your eyes upon me. If you will abide your lives in me. If you will hold my hands. If you will walk with my Holy Spirit. If you will unite your hearts with me. I, the Lord, will walk before you. I, the Lord, will do mighty exploit for you. I, the Lord, will make plains a mountain. I, the Lord, will depart the Red Sea. I, the Lord, will make you to be called blessed. I, the Lord, will lift you up. I, the Lord, will make all men envy you. I, the Lord, will make your life so blessed. Abide only in me. Serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big hand. Just give him praise. Just give him praise. Lord, we will be connected to you. 2013 will be a year of us connecting to you, holding your hands more than ever before. Hallelujah. Why don't we just do it? Why don't we just hold our neighbor's hands and let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray that each one of us will get closer to the Lord. That this will be indeed a year of breakthrough. This will be a year that God is going to do mighty, mighty miracles in our life. Let's just begin to hold our neighbor's hand. Let's just take a minute and just begin to pray. Shuduria la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia Shuduria la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia Shuduria karab Come on you guys pray Come on, let's pray much much louder Oh God a new anointing Lord a new vision and dream God a mighty move a mighty move of the Holy Spirit Shuduria la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia Shuduria la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia Shuduria la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia Shigarabahu tadia la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia Shuduria la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia Shuduria la carabaha tadia la carabaha tadia Shuduria la carabaha tadia press in press in Oh, just 20 more seconds we pray. Just hold your neighbor's hands and pray. Shudriya la garabaha, jadiya la garabaha. Shudriya la garabaha, jadiya la garabaha, jadiya. Shudriya la garabaha, jadiya la garabaha, jadiya. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands. Just magnify Him. Oh God, we bless your holy name. We worship you, oh God. Let's begin to thank Him, begin to worship Him. Shudriya la karabahu, dia la karahade. Shudriya la karabahade. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 You are an epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but by the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of flesh that is of the heart. And today I just feel this is what God wants to encourage all of us with. If the ministry of death in Moses' time was one with glory that was passing away, how will the ministry of the Spirit not be more glorious? And when one turns to the Lord, every veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And we all with unveiled face, beholding as in the Word of God like a mirror, the glory of the Lord, we are being transformed into that same image from glory to glory by the Spirit of God. Today, I just want to confirm the word that Pastor Aris and Son has shared. Today, as we abide in the vine, the Lord Jesus Christ is bringing us on the Mount of Transfiguration where all of us are being transfigured from one degree of glory to another. This ministry of the Holy Spirit is one that is glorious. It's going to transform you from one degree of glory to another degree of glory, from glory to glory. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man may be perishing, even though everything seems to be coming contrary to us, but we do not lose heart because the Holy Spirit is transforming every one of us as City Harvest from one degree of glory to another degree of glory. So Father God, we pray for such a glorious move of the Holy Spirit. Let your glory come, O oh God. Bring us on the Mount of Transfiguration. Bring us all from glory to glory to glory, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, that's right, give it praise. Oh, come on, let's give the Lord a big clap. Clap your hands, all you people. It's from glory to glory. Shout to Him, the voice of triumph. Come on, somebody scream. Right, give him praise. Don't give me a little clap. Come on, you want to clap? Give the Lord a big clap this morning. Hallelujah. time you are good hallelujah hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah i tell you something is happening in the house of god let's get excited in the house of god this morning Woo! hallelujah 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 amen the Word of God is so precious. Just week after week we come. We have the teaching of the Word. We have the Logos. We have the Rhema. We have the prophetic Word being uttered. And you never despise any of the prophecies the Bible says. You know what? With the, if you believe in the prophecies, it shall come to pass. I believe with all of my heart, we shall go forth with joy. The trees of the field shall clap their hands. We shall break forth into singing. I believe this will be the best year yet. We're going to see the signs, the wonders, the miracles of God. God is taking us from glory to glory, from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. Hallelujah. This weekend in our Chinese church, uh, Pastor Abraham Ku is preaching. And, and he was sharing with me yesterday as he was coming to the house of God, to, to church, to join us for our English service. And the Lord began to speak to him and reveal to him the prayer of Mary, you know, in Luke chapter 1, Mary prayed. He says, 
my soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit within rejoices before Him. So I, I really say, and you say, you say, God wants City Harvest Church to magnify Him. That means make God bigger. I mean, He's already big. Just magnify Him for the whole world. And we magnify Him by our faith. We magnify Him by our praise. We magnify Him by telling the whole world, great is our God and greatly to be praised. And now spirit, and, and she needed a miracle. She needed, the Lord told him, told her, the Lord told her that you are a virgin, but you're going to bring forth a baby. This is, I mean, on a human level, this is the biggest miracle ever. You know, this is the only the miracle of its kind in the history of the world from, from a human level. But as she magnified the Lord, as she began to rejoice before the Lord, the impossible became possible. You know what? Somebody said this, impossible means I am possible. And I believe in each one of us, our dreams, our visions, our desires of our heart, it is possible. I am possible. Everybody say, I am possible. Say, 